Hey guys, what's up? It's your buddy Keith here again, live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England, and I've got a killer Jackson King V to share with you guys today. If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe. You're going to see tons of cool pointy guitars just like this that I get all around from all around the world each and every day. I show them to you up close and in person so that you can know what a Jackson KV-5 King V Floyd Rose looks like, in case uh, you don't have one floating around at your local guitar shop. All right, that's what this channel is all about, guys. Come join the Circle of Friends. It's free, costs you nothing. And if you want to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, it's, it's at Essex Recording Studios. We'd love to have you there, too. All right, now to the guitar at hand. We've got the Jackson KV-5. Really nice shark fin inlays, the signature Jackson look. You've got the hang tag, the original one, so KV5 Floyd Rose Black. Has a serial number, 91462. And sure enough, if we look down here, etched at the bottom of the fretboard, 091462. A pair of Seymour Duncan pickups. These sound killer. Floyd Rose Bridge. You've got uh, interesting knob setup on these. So you've got your, uh, I guess, your master volume and your two tones. Everything's really close together, so you can access it quite uh, easily while you're playing. The pots feel really good. There's good resistance to them. They don't feel cheap and chintzy. Uh, you got your five, or excuse me, one, two, three. Three-way selector switch there. I don't think any of these pull up now. All right. Your edges look good. And just as nice as the guitar is, the case. Let me go ahead and put the hang tag down. This, by the way, was just, uh, uh, I guess just had some fret polishing and setup work done by these guys. True Notes. Very cool. Just put this down for a second. I'll show you this awesome molded Jackson Flight case. These are uh, the same exact cases you get on the USA Custom Shop models. They've got heavy-duty, thick, thick latches. Um, I love the handle on it. Nice rubberized, beefy, heavy-duty carry handle. Um, and then you've got your TSA flight lock. So this is approved for travel. Number two, surprisingly, I think every case I've ever had from Jackson is TSA 002. If you've had a different one, let me know. Nice little leather SKB tab there. You've got your storage compartment here. Um, yeah, great case, guys. And I've had guitars shipped to me in just the case or the case wrapped with a garbage bag. No problem, no damage, no dings. Uh, best, best factory cases as far as protection goes. That I've ever seen. If you know of a better one, let me know. But a lot better than like the tweed cases that you get or the uh, the G and G cases, as far as protection goes. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff in the back. Let's go ahead and pull this bad boy out. Okay, so this model is completely painted on the back of the. Uh, the neck and headstock. It's excellent. You've got some... Well, let's see here. On the back, what do we have? You've got a little bit of, like, brushing marks on the uh, back control covers. But on the guitar itself... What is that? That's just some... Nothing. Little tiny ding right there. Nope. Real minor stuff, guys. There's your recessed input jack. Really nice. The tips here, all in good shape. The edge has a, a little bit of chipping on the paint. But let me show you something, guys. This is the magic of having a black pointy guitar. You get one of these bad boys, the Sharpie. I'll do it right here for you. This just bothers me a little bit. So let's 
let's go ahead and perform some surgery on the Jackson. All right. Uh-huh. Yep. So we do a little bit of that. Cool. Go around the edges. Very good, very good. A little tiny bit right there. Uh-huh. And now, is it perfect? No. But now look at it. Wow. Okay, that's totally livable and exactly what you would expect to see anyway on a pre-owned Jackson. Wow, night and day difference, guys. And it cost uh, $0 to do that. So a little tip and trick of the trade for those of you who um, maybe haven't thought of that before. Man, good looking guitar. Very glossy, very reflective. You can see, you know, there's my hand there, the lamp above right there. Very good looking guitar. And very much the classic way. I know the unfinished neck is what you see a lot and mostly these days. But if you're a true, pure Jackson fanatic, uh, this is how they were always done in the past. This is the Japanese model, which is uh, premium, premium build construction. We had someone on the channel say the other day that the reason why they moved production for the imports out of Japan was actually because of the, the big tsunami, I guess, that wiped out the plant. And that's when things started to go to Indonesia and India and other places. But the, the build quality on these is, is top notch. They don't make them like they used to, as I say. Got the nice 80s Jackson style logo. Um, and you have the serial number etched into the bottom underneath the last fret, just like the USA guitars and the custom shop guitars. So all of those, what's in the Floyd Rose, the Seymour Duncans, that serial number, the neck through construction, uh, same Jackson tuners as you would find on the USA model, I believe the same case that you get on the USA custom shop model. You know, this is an excellent, excellent value guys. Cool. All right. Well, that does it for me on this KV five Japanese premium Jackson guitar. Stick around on the channel for more cool axes coming right up. We've got a couple Ibanez prestige guitars and a few other surprises. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. See you very soon in the next video coming right up. Later, dudes.